And we begin this half hour with a smash and grab attempt at a gun store in Dearborn Heights. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. Two thieves rammed a red Hyundai sedan straight into the store. You see it there. A scary situation unfolding early this morning. Seven Action News reporter Faraz Javed shows us why the crooks left empty handed and how police are working to put a stop to crimes like this. This camera footage first shows the red Hyundai canvassing the area around 3.27 a.m. Three minutes later, they smash through the entrance. Within 15 seconds, the two thieves bail on foot after they realize there are no guns to steal. The owner of the store and private investigator, Bob, who wants us to conceal his identity due to the nature of his job, was the first to arrive on the scene. Upon arrival, I uh, observed the vehicle inside my store and the front door and the gates and everything busted. So um, by the time I was able to, to realize that the vehicle is empty, nobody in there, uh, Dearborn Heights Police Department arrived on scene. Since all the guns were locked up, Bob knew the thieves would have made a run for it empty handed. If they only took one minute of their time just to see through the glass before they broke in, this will never happen. ATF special agent in charge Paul Vanderplow says lately more and more criminals have been targeting gun stores in Metro Detroit and they usually conduct a surveillance mission. If you witness people coming in and maybe looking around trying to take note of your security measures or your store layout, if you see something, say something. Back in September, nearly 100 firearms were stolen from two gun stores, one in Westland and the other in Dearborn Heights. The ones over the summer, we were able to affect 10 arrests in that and we believe we arrested within the first two weeks. Even though most of the stolen guns in that case have been recovered, Paul says they're actively searching for the remainder and urging the public to share any information for the community's safety. We're finding they are staying within this region for the most part and uh, they are being used to victimize people within this region. In the meantime, in this case, multiple law enforcement agencies are involved in tracking down the suspects. I would say ultimately one, just don't do this. We are going to find you, we are going to catch you. We've proven that. Obviously these guys are in need of guns and that's why they're stealing it. If they can't steal it from here, they're gonna look for other ways to steal it? Yeah, I, I'm almost positive they'll look for other ways. And that's honestly my goal is to have them keep trying to find other ways till they run out of ways. Now Bob says the city has given him the green light to install cement barriers at the entrance to prevent such incidents from happening again. Reporting in Dearborn Heights, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.